So, Mr. Hunkler, why have you called the Fearless <laughs> Engineering staff right, here so, today? So, I kind of wanted to talk to you a little bit about setting up a virtualized environment in VMware. And I had a couple of people on Twitter asking about that. I thought it'd be cool if uh, I got you here. Uh, just kind of the basics uh, for the neophyte uh, VMware user who might want to use our vCloud Express or even use our uh, professional platform to virtualize a server. Okay. So let's start off talking about virtualization. What is virtualization? Okay. So um, we'll, we'll turn to the whiteboard here. In a traditional scenario, the um, operating system lived on top of hardware. Okay. And um, as hardware gets more and more powerful, I'm going to step over here so the camera can actually see. Sure. As hardware got more and more powerful, it became more and more underutilized. So this is the traditional model. We've got an operating system living on top of hardware. Sure. And you know the, the utilization on this guy was very little. So you've got all this expensive hardware running you know, whatever application you have, and it's being underutilized. Virtualization is a way to utilize that hardware more by adding a thin virtualization layer. So uh, they call this, the technical term is hypervisor. Okay. So this thin little hypervisor allows us to allows allows the operating systems to think they have direct access to the hardware, but that hypervisor layer is virtualizing it so that more than one operating system can use the resources. All right. Thereby, we have more utilization and can do more things with the same amount of hardware. Okay. Cool. So, so say I wanted to go virtual and wanted to spin up a virtual instance. What would I? What would be the first step? Um, well, if you're kind of a geek and you want to do it at home, yeah. Say I want to get my <coughs> fingernails dirty roll up my sleeves, make my own VM. So I would say the first step is VMware Player. Okay. So VMware Player is a, a piece of software that you run on your laptop. Okay. Um, or your computer, whatever. Um, it allows you to create a virtual machine. Okay. On your desktop or your laptop and run another machine inside your desktop machine. Sweet. Uh, additionally, VMware has uh, an appliance store, so you can download free appliances or try some appliances out nice. without ever having to, uh, you know, purchase hardware. Okay. And how much, you know, it, you said it's an appliance store, so it sounds like it's not free. VMware Player is free, right? <laughs> uh, correct. VMware Player is free, but the VMware, the VMware appliance. Uh -huh. They call it the appliance marketplace. Okay. So there are some VMs um, that you would have to pay for, okay. but a lot of them are free. So if you know if you're familiar with Linux, there's a lot of free Linux um, okay. appliances out there. So some free, some not. Yeah. Additionally, if you've got a, a operating system installation disk, you can actually run a virtual machine and install it off of that installation disk. Okay. So say, say you've got this thing running uh, on your laptop. You have a virtualized instance, but that's not really the cloud, is it? No. So what the cloud allows us to do is, um, you know, in this model, this is one piece of hardware. Mm -hmm. The cloud allows us to have more hardware. And your virtual machine, these are now VMs, the virtual machines uh, can float, uh, they call it vMotion, okay. from hardware to hardware. So let's say we lose this underlying hardware, your virtual machines will power off and move and power back on to new hardware. So in the case of uh, a failing motherboard or CPU, um, you know, it'll it'll be minimized downtime compared to having to go get a replacement motherboard, get a replacement CPU, or in the event of 
you know, having duplicate hardware save you from the cost of having to double your uh, capital expenditures. Okay, cool. Cool, so so say I've got this thing, I've, I've rolled up my sleeves, gotten my fingernails dirty, I've gone to the appliance marketplace, I've uh, gotten just a, a free Linux, uh, what, what would it be, like an image that, that you would run, or, or I guess OS that you'd install? Yeah, it's an, it's an appliance, so it comes encapsulated okay. in, inside actual files, so and these these files are actually the VM, so it's made up of okay. like a, a virtual disk file and base, some basic instructional files as to what the virtual machine is. Okay, so so say I've got that on VMware Player, so it's running for free on my laptop right now, but I, I want that in the cloud. So so how do I get it there? So with the uh, Blue Lock Professional or Enterprise product, mm -hmm. uh, we can actually allow you to upload that virtual machine or virtual appliance into the cloud. Okay. Uh, in addition, we provide some uh, management and monitoring for it, uh, oh. along with um, you know, the, the redundant hardware and the high um, surface level agreements of, of the Blue Lock Cloud. Okay. And then the other option uh, that we're, we're working on right now is Express, right? So how would you how would you go from the VMware player to Express? It's a good question. There is no path for that right now. Okay. Uh, but vCloud Express is still beta, and we're working on exactly that issue. Okay. Cool. So I'll put a, a dotted arrow <laughs> for Express because <laughs> I know we're moving that way. All right, cool. So, so some basic tips uh, if, if you want to try to start up a virtual machine um, or, or just try to virtualize uh, an appliance, or an appliance is virtualized already, mm -hmm. am, I, am I right? So uh, I don't know the geek speak as well as Jake does, but it uh, sounds like this is a pretty basic way to uh, get started and uh, get your fingernails dirty. Cool. cool. See you next time. Thanks, Jake.